Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today, to celebrate 20 years of walking with dinosaurs, we are going to be doing a review of an animal that appeared in one of the six episodes of the original documentary series. So for episode one, New Blood, I chose Postosuchus, and to represent the animal, today we're reviewing the Safari LTD Postosuchus figure. Now, Postosuchus was a Rawisukian archosaur reptile that lived during the late Triassic period from 221 to about 203 million years ago in what is now North America, specifically Texas. Okay, so Postosuchus, not a dinosaur. Uh, it was a relative of dinosaurs and also modern crocodiles. And the name Postosuchus comes from the post quarry where many of these uh, animals were discovered. And now let's get into this gorgeous figure. Starting off with this head sculpt. Look at the teeth. The teeth have been so meticulously done. They are painted beautifully. There is no paint spillage at all. And this is the case on both sides. They line the jaw perfectly. And the coloration of this entire figure is so beautiful and naturalistic. This dark brown on the top of the head, or over the top, and then the light cream underbelly, and then this yellow hue in between with the black speckles. It looks gorgeous. Then we have this gradient as the, the, br uh, the brown meets the cream, and it is just amazing. The underside, we've got a nice throat flap here. Well, not a throat flap. We've got skin folds where the throat is. It looks gorgeous and I like how the it's posed with its jaw closed it doesn't need to be roaring and looking all fearsome it just it just looks calm just an animal going about its day the nostrils are really well done the eyes are beautifully seated now unfortunately there is a little bit of shrink wrapping here but it's very hard to spot but it is there but that's one of the very few flaws on this amazing figure and we've got the very distinct brow ridges over the eyes on Postosuchus. Very distinct skull shape. Then we get to the neck. We can see the, the skin folds and wrinkles are beautifully done. Very naturalistic. We've got more patterning. It looks gorgeous. Now the front limbs. This might be a point of contention because uh, this figure is from 2008. And since then... It's been theorized that Postosuchus actually walked bipedally, but here it's reconstructed walking on all fours quadrupedally. And I think the the uh, the forelimbs might be a bit too long. They should be just over half the length of the hind limbs, but you can see they look quite a bit longer. They do have the correct number of toes, which is five. They all have claws, I believe that's correct. And the, uh, the weathering on the legs is amazing. You can see the, these uh, cream yellowy stripes in intermitted through the brown uh, on this oops on this side the same thing the pose is so dynamic and beautifully done it looks so genuine like it's just an animal walking going about its day and we get to the the midsection the torso amazingly well done on the underside post sucus 2008 and we see this uh, fantastic patterning here with the black speckles again. And we see where the light underbelly meets the dark um, top of the animal. And then when we look at the spine, we can see we've got some dermal scoots going down the spine and also just to the sides as well, going down the torso. Very, very well done. And then the hind limbs again, accurate number of toes, five, I believe this is the correct um, Arrangement? Is that the word? I think so. And then the hind limbs very appropriately muscular, a lot longer and larger than uh, the uh, the forelimbs, and they're so perfectly posed. This looks just right, and it just it feels like a real animal. I feel like it could just walk off the table right now when I put it there. And last but not least, when we get to the tail, we've got a lot of patterning going down the length of it and it's posed so elegantly 
this curling here and it's held way off the ground. This is not just a typical crocodile. It's much different. It's in a class by itself. Well, not by itself. They're in their own unique group, the Rauisukians. And we can see the scoots going down all the way to the tip of the tail. And the, the detail on this figure, while it's not crisp crocodilian scale detail, it looks like wrink uh, leathery skin. And I think that is something to behold. I love the Triassic period. It's my favorite time period in all of Earth's geological history. And this Postosuchus figure is just the embodiment of what I adore about the Triassic. All these weirdos that are unique to that time. And this is such an amazing representation of this animal. Now let's measure up this amazing piece of plastic. So in terms of the length, I think we're looking at about pretty much exactly 19 centimeters. In terms of the height, I think the highest point is gonna be over the hips. Um, just shy of six centimeters high. I think that's all I have to say about this figure. Uh, if you would like one for yourself, go to everythingdinosaur.com. Amazing service. Uh, if you'd like to see my review of episode one of Walking with Dinosaurs, New Blood, uh, there should be a link to that in the end card coming up in just a moment. I want to thank you guys for watching. Let's continue to celebrate 20 years of the amazing documentary that is Walking with Dinosaurs. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.